So it's entirely logical, entirely logical that there are concerns. The risks uh, are very unknown in a lot of areas. You have garbage data. It's garbage in, garbage out. They don't really tell us enough about the biological and ecological consequences. In 2020, India imported over rupees 5 crores 60 lakhs worth of seafood from Japan. As per reports, this data is nothing to write home about, but when seen in light of Japan's latest plans, some concerns may well be valid. In July 2023, the International Atomic Energy Agency approved Tokyo's plan to discharge treated water from the Fukushima plant into the ocean. The nuclear watchdog also claimed the process would meet international safety standards and pose negligible environmental and health impacts. However, despite the agency's backing and the South Korean government endorsing the plans, concerns are rising. Protests erupted in South Korea after opposition lawmakers questioned the government's backing of Japan's discharge plans. Experts have also agreed with the validity of these concerns, with some questioning the data that was released as well as the actual purity of the water. Just before the wastewater is released into the Pacific, that the radionuclides from the damaged reactor have not been properly filtered out. Of course, it was not just independent experts raising concerns. South Korean lawmakers have called for a complete ban on seafood from Japan. Many have also flagged concerns that if the allegedly contaminated water enters the ocean, it will cause irreversible damage. Batting against South Korea's endorsement of Japan's plan, a South Korean lawmaker said it would be a matter of survival. With concerns from nations in the region, including Hong Kong, will India also take steps against fish imports from Japan? On 11 March 2011, the world watched in horror as the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Japan had a meltdown. The cause of the horrific disaster was an earthquake which caused a tsunami leading to 13 to 14 meter high waves. The tsunami caused damage to the nuclear power plant's emergency diesel generators, leading to a loss of electric power. The result was the most severe nuclear accident since Chernobyl, around 25 years ago. The Fukushima and Chernobyl are the only two disasters in the world so far to have been rated a level 7 on the International Nuclear Event Scale. <laughs>